you landed on this page, you landed on this video. If you guys are here, welcome. For those of you who are new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Understand that only 0.001% of people on this planet are ready to hear this message, are even open to hear this message. So what does this say about you? What does this say about who you are? Your reality is revealing to you who you've been. And I'm seeing that this is a message for exactly where you are right now in your life. Doesn't matter the time, doesn't matter the date, this is a timeless reading. You must understand that nothing is by coincidence. Nothing is by coincidence for me to pop up in your feed, for me to pop up and for us to connect. I know myself and I know the frequency that I fly on, so I can only see the me and you. And so I know that if you're connected with me, then you are on a higher frequency than most of the planet, which means you have the ability to see beyond. It is a message you are meant to hear exactly right now from the beyond. Okay, so this could be your ancestors, this could be guides, this could also be angels, this is higher self. Overall, we'll just say communication from the universe. So if you guys are here, you have the ability to communicate with the universe and outside sources, okay? So in this video, I'm gonna be channeling messages from three different decks pertaining to which one you're drawn to the most or which one you're deciding to listen to. There is a message specifically from the universe regarding the next phase in your life. Some of you may feel like you're going through the unknown, but there is an activation happening in your spiritual parameters of understanding that you can see what's gonna happen. So if you guys are interested in diving deeper into your gifts, check out the tarotchest.com or fly to level11.com where I'm gonna be hosting a mentorship every month. So everyone is open to join that mentorship. And if you guys wanna be a part of the angel access, you guys will see that on fly to 11.com where I'm going to be mentoring the highest level of mastery when it comes to enlightenment, all right? We're going way beyond way beyond and connecting directly with the universe and source, using anything that's palatable, anything that's around us to communicate. All right, so if you guys are here, check out the description box below for any info that I have going on, as I mentioned, the mentorship, and then also no more one-on-one -on -one readings, guys. I am finally closing my schedule because I would love to align myself with a more broader vision, and that is to be able to connect more with you guys. So if you guys are here, it's not by coincidence. There's no way you could have connected with someone such as a high being as myself and not be somehow intertwined between the physical and the spiritual world. So if you guys are here, there's a message from your angels. There's a message from the universe for exactly what you need to hear right now. We have three different decks that you guys can choose from. Any info you guys are looking for, you can definitely find down below. All right, we're gonna jump into the reading and see what the universe has brought me here to tell you. So if you guys are here, this is a message for exactly where you are right now. What's good, card one? All right, so your messages are already flowing through and this is how the universe communicates. So this is also for you to understand. If you guys were drawn to card number one, then the universe is communicating very, very clearly with you. All right, I had two cards that popped out. We have who in the world are you? And we also have do not drink poison, do not do things that are bad for you. So you are going and coming through a self-reflective stage in your life right now, card number one. And I believe that the universe is trying to communicate with you through your sacral chakra, through your passions, through what inspires you, what ignites you, okay? So whatever this connection is that you have that is the most potent, I'm hearing to being able to hear the universe Again, the universe does not have a mouth. The universe does not speak a language. And if it was a language, it would be considered vibration or frequency, which is not a language to us. Okay, so your vibration is very important. How you feel is very important. And in fact, in order for you to even connect with the spiritual world could only be through feeling. Okay, so there's a lot of understanding that you're getting ready to have with this connection. This, it's feeling like a newfound connection with yourself and then also the universe. All right, so we have the five, seven of pentacles in reverse. Okay, so we have the seven of pentacles in reverse. We also have the two of pentacles in reverse. All right, a lot of time spent focusing on career. Just dropped a career reading on the tarot chest. Check that one out so you can understand what that even means. What is a career? 
and do you even want one? <laughs> or are you just telling yourself that you do because there's something at the end of it? It's, it's too much. It's too much I'm feeling of focusing on survival. Okay, we have the five of pentacles here. Let's just get clarity before I start getting into this. Okay, we have the nine of pentacles. The five of pentacles was poking through here. Okay, so we have the nine of pentacles. So I'm definitely feeling like there is a lot of financial independence coming your way or trying to come your way. All right, there's a, some impatience a little bit of an impatience feeling that I'm getting from you. But if we look, we're focusing where? Where is most of our attentions focused? In the element of earth which is the practical things of this world. And even though you've been spending so much time on these practical things in the world, you are still searching for some type of fulfillment, something that feels that you can feel. Okay. Money does not make you feel for those of you who say money can make you happy. Money does not make you feel when you hit that jackpot you are going to be thinking about all of the things you're going to do with money. Or are you just going to keep it in your bank forever? Is what Spirit is saying. Let's see what your angel guidance is. A lot of focus has been on money, career, survival. And so I'm really seeing that you have guardian angel at the bottom here. All right. It's time to get to know the new you. The new you is not so focused on survival. The new you is independent not worried, financially free, not um, trapped in something. Because what I'm getting with this card, this is the first time I've used this deck on this channel, I believe. And this tarot deck is giving me, with this card, it's giving me financial independence, but, but without the ball and chain, not having to be tied to something that you don't love, that you're not passionate about, just to be financially free, that there is a reality and a possibility where you are financially free and doing what you love. What you love and what makes you feel ignited within is actually what is going to bring you the most success. But you haven't been really focused on that because you've been focused on other things. Let's get your guardian angel, and then I wanna really, really get into this reading. Okay, because I can see that there's a lot to be said here. We have composure. And one more card from angels, romance and connection. All right, so you are definitely calling in more self-love, more love in your life because of the love that you're giving to yourself. All right, there's a lot of passion surrounding you at this time. You are connected to an angel who is granting you the ability to create, to be inspired to create, to bring things to life. It's giving me Empress energy to bring things to life. What is important to you at this time is your pleasure, what feels good, what feels inspiring, what's igniting. And if you don't know, that's okay. It's better to say you don't know than you think that you do. And then you stay in that loop for years saying, oh, wow, I really thought I loved this, but now I realize I just love this part. I'm hearing you're meant to love the whole part. It's like watching a movie. Do you only go to see the movie to see a couple of parts? Or do you desire for the whole movie to be enjoyable? Your life is meant to be enjoyable is what I'm hearing for you. All right, so why do we have all of these pentacles energies? Let's just get some confirmation. The fool, not really focusing on the spiritual aspect of things. When I talk about spiritual, it simply means unseen. It's not a stereotype. It's not even a lifestyle, okay? It is really your connection to the unseen world. Love, unseen, and my gut is on fire right now. Your intuition, unseen. It's a feeling that you have within that you cannot see. The only thing we can see is the expression of it. Some of you might be getting ready to win the lottery is what I'm hearing. Some, can you be open to receiving card one? Can you be open to receiving and not knowing where it comes from? This is the benefit of not knowing. That means it can come from anywhere. But as soon as you know, you get focused on that one door. And this is why it's not in our benefit all of the time to know what's coming next. Your creations. All right, but once again, if you don't know what you are, not just who, if you don't know who or what you are, 
you're not going to have these answers just yet. And so this is a self-discovery here, and it's leading you to a very, a very happy family life, financial security, and finding the magic in little things, okay? So there's a leap of faith that is going to be required of, from you. And this is not something you're gonna have to force yourself to do. You're gonna have to be patient with yourself, love yourself, have compassion, all right? Because you, this is, this is the crazy part. We're getting into some deep teachings here. You desire to go, the, the full card is here. You're desiring to take a leap of faith, live your dreams, feel ignited, do all this. But what is the pullback, right? Yourself is not ready, does not feel ready. And that's because the old version of you is not attached to this new life. This new life that you're getting ready to receive, card one, is connected to the newer version of you. The version of you that is not just focused on survival, not burning yourself out in work, and doesn't even have to be patient to receive. In this new life, you don't have to wait to receive. The only reason why you've been waiting is because you want it delivered a very specific way. I'm telling you, it's coming in clear. You want it a specific way. I'm going to get this. I'm going to get paid this. You're trying to figure out this master plan and it cannot be figured out. It can only be experienced. Fly to level 11.com where we will be meeting once a month to talk about this. And this is what I'm telling you guys. Now that I know this, are we predicting or creating our future? Okay, I don't wanna get too deep. I don't wanna get too deep on you because this is, this to me feels exciting. Your new chapter is meant to feel very exciting from the space of a child. Curiosity, ooh, I don't know what's gonna come next, but I'm excited to see. It's giving me page of wands energy. It seems like a small beginning, but this small beginning blossoms into something much bigger. And what is that much bigger? Spirit is saying, I've already revealed it and I continuously reveal it through your imagination. Through your imagination, six of air, things are looking up. What did I just say? The end of a difficult situation. Take a trip. Some of you should start planning the vacation. Go plan a vacation. Go look. Do you realize some people don't receive just because they don't look? Once you start looking and really knowing and feeling that there is a vacation and taking a trip soon, you will be able to connect with the where. And it is like searching and filtering through to feel, okay, where would feel great to go? And what comes to mind? Card one, you gifted one. <laughs> How can you even see this? Some of these places you see in your imagination, you've never been there. How is this possible? How is it possible? You have a gift. Like I said, 0.001% of people are ready to receive this message. You have to feel worthy to know that there's nothing you have to do to earn this life. You wanna talk about feeling grateful? There's nothing you have to do to earn this life. You're just simply aligning, meaning feeling good about it. Can you feel good about this life? And you can't feel good about it if you don't know what it is. And some of you are blinded. You feel like you're in the unknown. You don't know what's going to happen next. Where do you think you're going to see what's going to happen next? It's too hard to be so on a high frequency and to just dilute it. So that's another thing with you, card one. Your surroundings could be changing because you're not as stimulated with the people around you. Not really much stimulation going on here. We should all be growing. There's plenty to learn. We'll never hit a ceiling of knowing enough. Even myself as a leader, I'm just continuously flying high and giving it to you guys. I leave, I upgrade myself, I come back, I get the channel messages, I deliver, and you will do the same. It is beautiful. This is a beautiful time to be alive and aligned. You must connect with this feeling. This feeling of excitement that I'm giving you through the camera is you. <laughs> it's your energy. All right, it couldn't be anyone else but you. You, you, you. You have to know I'm talking to you. That's what the universe is saying. 
All right, I'm speaking to you through your creations, through your imaginations, through your inspirations to create, to bring to life. Okay, I'm, I'm feeling parents, parents giving life and not because you desire, some of you might not desire to have children or be a parent, but it's by nature that you're teaching others through your example. This is just who you are. What, is, what do the fairies want you to know that we're drawn to, to the image of card one? Wisdom, I knew it, because you're bringing this out of me. And only certain people can bring this energy out of me, card number one, but as long as you need the universe to point to you to know that it's talking to you, you'll, I don't know, the universe doesn't have a finger, so you'll probably be waiting for a long time. For, but it's like everything in your reality is pointing to you. That's the, that's the finger of the universe. The universe is like, my finger is the fingerprint of it, all creation. That finger is your reality pointing to you. We think, oh, things are not working out. No, it's the universe saying, this is not meant for you. But because we can't see what is, we get comfortable and we just stay safe. But in the whole time, there's a missingness of fulfillment with the page of cups of excitement, of fun, the whole purpose of coming here on earth. Okay, so you have wisdom, we have stargazing. All right, so you have a lot of wisdom, you're connected to the universe. We have life energy at the bottom. The happy fairy of sunshine brings lots of life-giving energy. So if anything, this exchange to you, it's once again bringing life. The sun is important. There's so many messages here, you guys, so many messages. And this is how fun it is to communicate with the universe, whether it's through colors, all right? We have a lot of colors here, a lot of fire, a lot of passion, a lot of creation, a lot of pleasure, happiness, uh, laughing, high frequency energy, celebration. This energy can also only sometimes be created with a group of people. That's how powerful it is. You have all of that in you. The creation of multiple you have, you carry within you. Okay, so I'm getting a lot of empress energy. And if it excites you when I'm talking to you right now, that is confirmation that you are hearing from the divine itself. Some of you just want to know what is this spirituality thing? And there are so many teachers and there are so many leaders. And spirit is saying, how will you know which one is connected to truth? You can feel it. You can feel it when I speak to your soul. I am speaking these words to activate you to say, hey, hey, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Out of all the videos, somehow you're here. I don't know what other signs you need to see to believe. It's time is what I'm hearing. Life energy. So this was about giving you a boost to get up and shine. <laughs> I don't know what you're over there doing. I need to, before I read the rest of this card, what is going on with card? Number one, what am I picking up on here? Okay, six of wands. We all know what the six of wands is, public recognition, okay? Public recognition, you're getting ready to come into acknowledgement of whatever it is that you're bringing to life, there will be acknowledgement. You will be seen. You are getting ready to be seen, but you must see yourself before the world does, okay? You must see yourself before the world does. Woo, this is powerful, card number one. All right, so we have, she reminds you to shine your light to reveal anything in the shadows that needs to be healed. That's what's going on right now because there's nothing like shining bright and having to come out of that, that bright sun because of shade from others lies about others, things that you thought you wanted, but maybe now you don't, you're evolving. We cannot expect ourselves to want the same thing for years, for, for forever. Oh, we have self-love, okay? Compassion is ourselves saying, I don't wanna go to that job, I don't wanna go anymore. And then you have to, if we don't go, it's like a whole thing here. 
All right, that's where the self-love comes in. You have to at some point acknowledge yourself to work together to be one for an enjoyable experience. All right, so we can't be beating up the ego. The ego is self. We have to love self. It, it's what allows us to be here, okay? It allows us to be here to have this experience, so we have to take care of it. Body, mind, and soul. And how does the body and the mind and the soul even connect with the universe is through feeling. Feeling can only come from, I'm not talking about your emotions, I'm talking about your feeling, okay? Anything else for card one that you want them to know? Whoa, whoa, whoa. The sun is here. Happiest card in the deck, it's time. It's time for you to shine, it's time for you to be seen. You have a magnetic energy around you that seducts you. You've heard this. Some of you have heard this before. If it's your first time, welcome. Welcome and be open. I'm hearing it's time to be open, to receive love, compliments. People saying nice things, being considerate, actually having pure intentions, getting ready to receive that energy. All right, you have an infinite amount of wisdom. Now is the time to call upon your inner fairy wisdom to help you with the challenge. You are connected to infinite wisdom. You connect with infinite wisdom, you already know most things, okay? Because you're connected to this divine source within you. Page of Swords, we have the Page of Swords twice. Impulsive, challenging information delays or changes to plans. Truth delivered without tact in the chariot. Something appears to not be going as fast as you would like it to go. But you have to remember you cannot eat and drink at the same time. We're here to experience. We're here to experience. And some of us think we want it all right now and you don't and your spirit knows you best. This is why it's important for you to know you then you, wouldn't know, you would know why things are in a space of delay because you would feel when the time comes, you would feel it. I'm feeling like trust everything. Anytime there's a delay, thank spirit for that information. It's communication. It's communication. Everything is communication. And we have the chariot energy, cancer energy. We have Leo energy on the board. All right, we have a lot of fire energy. Obviously we have earth energy. Everyone's here, okay? Everyone's here. So once again, you we should not need the universe to say our name, to know that it's communicating with us. We'll miss a lot of messages. So if I don't call your Zodiac and you're like, well, this must not be me, because no, if you're here, it's for you. <laughs> if you're here, it's for you. If you desire it, it's for you. If you can imagine it, it's for you to obtain and have. This is the truth. Let's see last messages for card one. No need to worry. This situation will improve. Okay, so some situation is going to improve in your life right now, and I believe that this is more so of receiving communication from the universe so that you understand which direction is the next direction to go. And how do we determine that if we don't know what the destination is? Our destination should be beyond survival. So we really have to connect with ourselves, card one, and ask, what is, what, what is my desire from all of this? What is the end desire? What is the desired outcome? And this, my friend, is what you're here to experience, and you have to trust that. I am here to tell you to trust. There's no way you could have gotten on this video. And I've been saying this a lot lately. It's like I have to remind you guys of how special you are. There's no way you could stumble upon this frequency. Some people will never even see my videos. They're not in a frequency to match it. So what does that say about you, card number one? That says a lot. That says a lot about who you are, all right? So you are someone who is deeply connected to the divine. You are connected through your imagination, through your inner child. You wanna bring that spark back? Have fun, but you have to get to know yourself. This new version of you, the new version of you is not worried. And some of you may barely be getting to know this new version of you that's never worried. Never worried, okay? And it's okay for worry to come. It's just evidence of the fear that is being evacuated. 
that's the best way that I can put it. Because it's not true. That's why it doesn't feel good. All right? So if you guys chose card number one, these are some very deep communication, deep messages from the beyond, from the universe, from your angels, through your angels, through me, all the way to a video to get to you to say, it's time to shine. It's time for you to be happy. It's time for you to align with joy and understand that you are here to live this desired life that is so deep in your soul, you can never forget it. It's imprinted on your soul. All right, I'm moving on to card two. Card two, if you were drawn to card two, you communicate with all different sources that are connected to the universe. Actually, out of all three images, the second image on this particular one really connected with me because what it told me is that if you were drawn to card number two, especially first, it's like this is why the pick of cards are important because you guys have to feel like the universe is talking to you. In card two, the universe talks to you through various sources and that's why there is no face on this image. There is no angel on this image. And that was because you communicate with the universe through various things, whether that's through animals, it could be through nature, it could be through your hands, through your body. It could also be through your dreams, through your imagination, through your aspirations through your imagination, what you're seeing. You're very, very, very heavily connected to the universe, card two. And you've heard this before. So what do you do with this? Just continue to dive deeper is what I'm hearing. It's fun, it's meant to be fun. You will discover the truths of this universe. Actually, fly to level 11.com. You guys can type that in if you guys wanna be a part of a webinar that I do every month talking about spiritual enlightenment because I'm actually getting ready to get into some deep messages for you. If you are here, the universe wants you to know that you are connected, you are not alone. We're gonna start with the tarot just to see where is your 3D circumstances? What are the life circumstances of card two? All right, card two, thank you. Queen of wands, all right, so we also have the nine of swords. All right, so let's get one more card. Oh, card two. King of Cups. That's so funny because if you guys are coming from card one, I remember you guys had the romance card. It's romanticizing your life, your dream life. So the point of having this communication with the universe is so that you have an advantage. You can see, you can see the future. For yourself, at least, you might just not know it. Okay, so I'm seeing that there is some type of opportunity that's coming in. You don't see it. I feel like you're really worried and concerned about something because we have the nine of swords. So what is this about? Lovers, okay? Whoa, I might have to cover that. It's a little spicy. Okay, some of you guys could be really trying to understand your love life really trying to align with better partnerships in your life because we do have the queen of wands and you definitely could be coming from card number one because we do have a lot of sacral chakra energy obviously with the lovers we also have gemini energy here but there's some anxiety here some worry about things that are going to pay off um, if you're going to get to do what you love to do with the king of cups in reverse and then we just have a lot of other people's energy also that you are clearing away so that you can receive and also hear and see better. Yeah, because we have a lot of distractions around us. So let's see what's coming in the near future for card two and see why you guys were led here. Card two, why was card two led here? Okay, we have the dreamer poking out. It's time for a leap of faith here. Follow your dreams, unexpected opportunities. So there's going to be some type of unexpected opportunity you don't see. You'll think that it came out of thin air or it came out of nowhere. It's actually the universe sending it in. I do see with the queen of wands, there is a creativeness about you. So to be creative is to be like God creator, creative. So when you're being creative, you're being like God. You're getting to know source and you're getting to know yourself as well. So you are meant to do something that is very creative. Let's see why they are here. Why are they on the channel and why are they drawn to card image two? Okay, because we have a king of earth here. You could be manifesting a life partner. Some of you could be manifesting a twin flame. I don't say that lightly, a twin flame. 
is really aligned with chosen one. So it's not that it's a better relationship. And I said this, it's just a different type of relationship. One who is not aligned would not manifest their twin flame. The point of the twin flame is to inspire, to save, to heal, to bring freedom, to bring hope to a world based on the relationship that they have. So these are like chosen couples, chosen unions by the universe. And that is because when you choose to be a chosen one, which just means, okay, I'll answer the call. I'll pick up the phone. I'll listen. I'll open my eyes and see. I'll look up why that number is coming to me. All right, so you guys could definitely be a musician. I'm really feeling a lot of energy around you when it comes to shining bright, sh being a star. All right, I'm picking up Aquarius energy, a lot of stardom energy. And it's also because of your light, what you're connected to. So I believe that if you are not, it doesn't matter if you're in a connection or not, honestly because you are manifesting what you truly desire. And if it's what you truly desire, then you're already in that relationship. If your heart and soul truly desires more, then you know that you're manifesting a new person. So you'll have to leave that up to your own resignation. But you are manifesting someone. It could also be a business opportunity is what I'm getting for a lot of you with the earth sign. This is someone professional, responsible, practical, generous, the Midas touch, someone who is a creator themselves that you guys will collaborate. You'll be on the same wavelength together. You'll be able to bring things into life. Some of these projects, creations, okay, your new life, what you imagine next to be happening. Lots of distractions. Okay, we have balance at the very bottom. So we do have a lot of distractions, Sagittarius energy, the, not, the time to spend to yourself so that you can connect in silence and solitude. This is the easiest way to connect, all right? There are ways there are many different psychic abilities, which is why I said go to the tarotchest.com or go to fly211.com and see what aligns for you so you can become more engaged with your gifts and you can strengthen them. Okay, whenever you see a knife and it's strengthened, being strengthened against another knife, that's what I'm seeing, strengthening these gifts that you already do have. All right, and in order to do that, you have to choose yourself. You have to choose silence and solitude so that you can actually connect with the subtle energy until it's loud enough than the noise of your reality. It's important for you to have space and, and time alone. You're never alone. Time by yourself so that you can connect. All right. So you may think it's alone. You're never alone. It's by yourself. All right. We also have six of water memories from history, childhood issues regarding children, romanticizing the past. Interesting. So I was just talking about that. Isn't that crazy? I just talked about romanticizing from card one. So if you're, whether you're coming from, it doesn't matter. And this is what we have to learn in these messages. It doesn't matter if I'm talking to you and you're here and you feel it, I am talking to you. This, this is the universe. This is what you've come here to hear. It does not need to be personalized anymore. And I'm realizing this, even with my own personal readings, do you guys realize you will book a personal reading and in one day there will be three readings with the same questions. Some of them, most of the time, the same signs. And that tells me we're all one collective. Stop trying to personalize it because this is making you, it's making it a little bit more challenging for you to receive because you think that it has to be specialized, signed, sealed, and delivered with your name on it. Everything is signed, sealed, and delivered with your name on it. It's your you universe. It's you. Your reality is reflecting you, who you're being right now. And you want it to reflect something different, right? So we can't do that from the practical reality by trying to manipulate it. We have to start from within where everything starts, your imagination. So some of you, especially if you are a water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer, very intuitive, imaginative, fantasy, easy for you to see. Um, it's not easy for everyone to see in their imagination. So understand how rare you are. People around you are not reflecting this. They, they can't even see you enough to tell you, hey, wow, you're, you're actually very rare. I've never met someone like you. Okay? So there's a need for balance to get back to self before we involve anyone else. I almost forgot about the other person. Okay? Because we have the lovers here. So we're going to get clarity on why that's here. 
We have the wheel, a time of positive change, a situation suddenly moves forward, fortune is on your side. So you have fortune on your side that is coming in here. Once again, Ace of Pentacles, you are already destined to be successful. This is why it's something that you're always thinking about because it's something your soul and spirit knows it is already. And you must start to reflect that version of yourself so that your reality can also reflect that version. Let's see what your overall theme is and why you're here to hear this message. Card two. Nonsense. It's time to talk sense. All right. So this card is all about, we have the queen of hearts. So believe you are rare and free at the bottom of the deck. You are rare and free. There are not many like you. I already said that just confirmation. All right. So once again, like I tell you guys, that's why we're going from tarot tribe to light tribe because the cards only come after as clues. I've already said this because the messages are already flowing through me. The cards are just clues for you to see it. Believe it. You have to see the cards to believe, oh, wow, I must have an opportunity coming because the ace of pinnacles is here. This is just the truth. We're going beyond card two. That's why I said you're rare. I can have this talk with you. And if you stumbled upon here, you're in the right classroom. You, you're here. All right, so we have believe, strange encounter. So you've already maybe have had strange encounters. You've already seen this. Maybe you closed your eyes to this at one point, but this is the truth. And now is the time for you to accept it. This is who you are. You are rare. You are not like everyone else. And you don't have to see it to believe it. Believe it so you can see it. This is the truth. Believe it so you can see it. Doesn't matter how crazy it may sound, it is meant for you. Okay, so I'm hearing that you are meant to be a millionaire. Yes, multi-millionaire if you're here. And it's crazy because I sometimes I hear these stories and people are like, oh, this terror reader told me I was meant to be a And it's like, Yes, this is true. However, will you align to receive this? And how do you know this is for you? You can feel it. This is what I'm telling you guys. You have to start trusting now more than ever that feeling. Because if you don't trust that feeling, the world may always look scary. Because what they're showing you, even in the media, is not the truth. This world is a very beautiful place, but we're only highlighting the worst cases. And so that's why television tells you a vision. Where are you getting your information from? If it feels bad, something's wrong and something's off. You're being called to step up, card two. It's now time. There's a reason why you've been having all these tarot readings. It's not about, okay, well, I keep hearing that this is the... Okay, you have a gift that's going to pay off. So I see a lot of CEOs, business owners, entrepreneurs. Even if you don't know business, you'll have someone come in and take over and do it for you. You're only meant to do the parts you enjoy. Just like a movie, you want to enjoy the whole movie, not just a few parts. This is what you're here to do. Live an enjoyable life that is aligned with your highest, most exciting desire. As we know, excitement can only come from the universe and spirit, God and source, whatever other words you need. <laughs> At this point, I'm just a vessel letting the universe use me to deliver a message to thousands, to hundreds of thousands of people to let them know that, yes, you are connected to the unseen world. You are rare. Not many want to even look in there. You could be an artist. You could be an artist of any sort. Like I said, if you're creative, you're being like God. <laughs> you're aligned with God. You're now God because you've aligned. You become one with God, creator. All right? So this is the truth. No matter how many religions you go through, no matter how many books you read, we all have to come to one place, the truth. And the truth, from what I have learned on my journey, is the closest evidence to the voice of God. 
When I hear God's voice, I hear truth. When you guys say, oh my gosh, I hear your messages and it woke up, it's truth. It's the light. It's meant to shine on dark things. It's meant to wake people up. It's meant to say, hey, it's meant to electrify your soul. That's how powerful it is. It's like the universe is saying, it's time for my people, ch children of the light, the purest of the pure, the kindest, the ones of love and compassion to rise up in every industry. It doesn't matter. It's the one that's most exciting to you. That is bingo. You hit it on the nail at this point. <laughs> I'm just having fun. Page of Wands, just talked about that, okay? King of Swords, Five of Cups. Oh, people around you may not understand this next path. It might sound ridiculous. It might sound crazy. But here's the thing. We got to, <laughs> what is crazy? Everything that's come to life before sounded crazy because it's not the ego that is able to do this. And this is why it's important for you to connect with something higher. Whether you're a musician, whether you're an architect, whether you're an athlete, whether you're a student or a teacher or a healer or a prophetic giver, all of this is only happening when you let go of your ego and allow yourself to connect with something so much higher than you, like I am now and it flows through you. We call it talent. No, it's not really talent. It's who's open to receive these gifts that I have. Are you open to receive? So you're gonna have a lot of strange encounters um, in a good way. There's nothing to be afraid of. There's nothing to be afraid of, okay? I don't know where that's coming from. Page of Wands talked about that in card one. There's a path that starts off as something that's a spark of interest of just excitement, just doing it because it's exciting, not, oh, because this is a great idea and then I'm going to sell it and then I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. It's like, steal your plan. It's God's plan, but it aligns with your highest version self's plan. But if you don't know that version, you will think it's not your plan. Get to know this version of you that you're becoming, the version of you that is living life out of fun, that is living life out of compassion, that is connected with others that are actually pouring into them. I'm seeing that once you really start to choose you and follow this path that's most exciting to you, people will have questions, concerns, because you're doing something they did not have the bravery and courage to do. We all have dreams that were given to us and you have to deny them to not live them. You have to deny them. And so some people are upset with themselves for not following their dreams. Some of them become haters and they find other reasons to, to talk about other people's success because of whatever, who cares? I don't even ever channel the word haters. So for that to come up too, it's like you, you will have people who are inspired because even hate is coming from inspiration. To not like something is different, but to strongly hate it, there's something underlining it that is out of love. Because even hate has to be passionate enough to be as dis more feeling of dislike. It's like even hate has to have some passion behind it. Okay? Who cares what people think? It's your time now, and I see that it, it's like you have to choose yourself. Once you choose yourself, you have something that is coming in. You have fortune you're already connected to, which is why you're connected to success. You've been trying to figure out how to do this, how to be uh, financially stable, how to be um, a business owner, or how to, and once again, you might not be a business owner. You may just, we're just creators. We're replacing work with creating. Replacing business with service. How can I bring a service to the world? Let's see, Knight of Pentacles. I do see that this is going to move forward in a very practical way. And so that is good news in itself. So you may not see this 
but there are opportunities surrounding something you really love, King of Cups, and are passionate about doing. Some of you have already connected with this. Others of you are still discovering it because we do have the King of Cups could be avoiding it. Stargazing. When you gaze at the stars, when you give yourself fairy focus, your intuition will flow more freely and reveal to you what you need to know about your situation. Spirit is saying that there is guidance that is coming to you. It could be through symbolism, numbers. It's not something specific. Okay. So that's the thing with this unseen spiritual world. It's not conditional. And we try to conditionalize it by bringing it here and ordering it and rationalizing it and constructing it. And it's like, once we do that, we're in our ego and your ego is just simply meant to enjoy and have a pleasurable experience. Okay. The easiest way I can say it, that is it. Passenger princess is the definition of what your ego was invented for literally and who's driving you are who is you what are you you are i <laughs> it's just too much okay you guys are wanting to go deep with this i'm seeing wanting to go deep with this and so i feel not to rush this information to have fun with discovering it and allowing it to come to you. You are a channeler by nature and it is very natural to you. So spirit is saying for you to zoom in on this and these gifts that you do have in the supernatural world, okay? Nature signs, there you go, once again. So that was something I said in the beginning. So some of you, you have to get to know this version of you. This is exciting, right? It's like walking for the first time. You're in nature with your shoes off. You're touching things. You're feeling things. You're touching the trees. You're connecting. And whatever it is, it may not be that way of nature. It could be through creation. This is through, it is through this exercise that you discover what you are, right? Until you touch a tree and channel messages from some existence of organisms that have been here thousands of years before you, you will never understand that it is a possibility. And so that's where you, you're just kind of feeling the earth out to see, ooh, what can I do? What can I do this? Can I do that? Can I do that? And it's almost like you're a child again. And you're allowing yourself to be open to discovering what you are. And so nature talks through us continually. We need to open our hearts and mind. There you go. So some of you, what is your reality telling you? When people say they're around you, what are they saying they feel? Your reality is telling you who you are being. Let's see what spirit has brought you for. Anything else for card two? From their angels, a message they need to hear right now. We have intuition and downloads. There you go. Manifestation at the bottom of the card. So manifesting is not an actionable thing. I know that it's becoming very trendy and popular. Manifestation just means seeing it in your imagination and receiving it here in the 3D world. That's it. That it's very simple. You already have it. You already know that it's for you and meant for you just by the desire and excitement through your experiences. If you see something and you're excited to have it, that's confirmation. If you're excited to wear it, confirmation. Excited to drive it, excited to own it, excited to do it. That is all communication. So every day you get to discover more about what you are. And any time that you're not discovering, it can get pretty boring because you don't know that you have this power. So you receive intuitions and downloads. You don't need to figure it out. Spirit has, has already figured it out and will just give you the answer. So what is the point of having these gifts if you don't know how to use them? Some of you think they're not working. They're always working. You just don't know that what you're manifesting is what you're choosing to manifest. You want to choose something different. Imagine a different outcome. It's easy to imagine past outcomes because you've already experienced them. Could be a little bit more challenging to expand your imagination and consciousness and imagine a scenario that works out in your highest favor. That is something you, that could be challenging because you've never experienced it here in the physical. So you're being asked to imagine different outcomes. Thank you. Last card. Courage and bravery, courage and bravery to do what you love and it will pay off and you will inspire others. 
but some people will have to wait to see you. I'm seeing you have a, a, an ability to communicate with the universe in a sense, and it doesn't need to come through a person. All right, this is coming through you and you have the courage and bravery to even look to find this information. You would not have found this video if your soul was not ready to obtain this information. And it's not meant to be so serious. It's fun. It's an experience. It's a journey. It's mysterious. You get to uncover mysteries that most people in the world will not because they're simply not looking or they simply cannot see your gifts are working, now it's time to understand a little bit more about how they are working, okay? And so that's what the universe wants to tell you is, hey, you're going to have a lot of encounters that continuously align with the truth that you are connected to the outside world, the unseen world, the beyond, and this is the truth of it. And so everything is meant to work out in your favor. You have guidance on your side and spirit would continue to like to grow this relationship it's an advantage it is an advantage that you have in this life all right i am moving on to card number three i'm hoping that this bless your guys' spirit in the meantime i'll see you guys later <laughs> card three if you chose this card this is your reading this is your energy check-in it said that your future self wants to communicate with you which is just you in the future at any moment, you can connect with this version of you simply through your imagination. What your future self wants you to know, card three, if you guys are here and you're drawn to card three. We have your dreams and desires are the keys to your fulfillment. So what will bring you fulfillment? What will fill this void? We learn that it's not a person, it's not a place, it's not a possession. Well, what is it? All right, and what you're learning is it is also your purpose, doing what you feel like you're called and meant to do at your highest capacity. So you are connecting more with this version of you in a very high dimension. So this version of you that exists is already wealthy, already living this life that you desire to live. When I say wealthy, it could be a wealth of love, an overflow of love and overflow of finances all right so whatever your dreams and desires are these are clues all right your desires and your wants are two completely different things i just said this the tarotchest.com if you guys want to dive deeper your wants are completely different these are obtainable things most of the time when we want something it's because we think we desire it your desire is more so a response from the universe. So for instance, if you see a certain car or a certain item, um, I'm not gonna use people because people seem to be a little bit more challenging. All right, for some reason, I'm getting that there, the divine is bringing you into union with your most desired lover, okay? I'm gonna leave that up to you. There's something about your heart chakra. Everything's aligning in your life, card three. Everything is aligning perfectly for you. And so now it's, a, it's about receiving this, making space and room for this. So your desires, everything that is a desire to you, because everyone's desires are different. They are clues. This is the universe responding to you saying, this is yours. You have this, you're meant to have this. This is you. So if you desire to be like someone or you're inspired by someone, it's because parts of them are also parts of you. You are connected to your desires like an umbilical cord. They're yours. Nobody wants them. We all think. But these desires are custom to you. They're custom to you specifically. And not everyone has the same desires, which is great because that also means not, there's enough for everyone. And it's easier when we're talking about this in the terms of possession. So possessions will be easy for you to obtain and are meant to be easy for you to obtain. Now you're going to another place, another level. So we have exploring three new places. So we're using this gift to also now receive experiences, people, those things that feel a little bit more challenging to receive. So when it comes to your desires, they are responses. You are connected to your desires. They are slapping you in your face. Everywhere you look, you'll see your dream car. You'll see a dream house, a house, new residence, buying property, really big for you, card number three. That was something that came up. Look, just 
look. See, this is the thing we can't measure manifestation. So we don't realize that that one meditation you did actually brought something in your life to life. So we are not realizing what is manifesting. We're not understanding it and it's your vibration, how you feel. And the way to feel excited is to go look in your imagination and see what's being revealed to you. Okay. Because that my friend is the key to your desires and what you're here to obtain. The you, it's like the universe is telling you who you are through your desires. They're for you to obtain. However, here's where the, the shift is happening you receiving them. You have big desires, big in quotation. You're trying to receive through really small doors, small doors being the career that you're currently in, what you're currently doing. Your desires are expanding. Therefore your career path is expanding, which some of you may have heard me he say on the most recent career path reading on the tarot chest. Some of you may already have heard me say this. So because your desires are expanding and how you receive them, some of your desires are so big. I hear what you desire, then I look at your life and I'm like, huh, interesting how this is gonna fit through that door. Spirit universe is not holding back from you. Spirit and universe is waiting for you to align with what you desire. We think the universe is teaching us a lesson or, oh, the universe is teaching us to be patient. No, through this experience, we've learned patience. The universe has nothing to do with it, <laughs> literally. And this is higher perspective teaching. So welcome to enlightenment. You guys chose card three. This is all about your crown chakra. If you, this is your second or third card that you're choosing, this may be where you're going, okay? The next phase in your life. All right, is knowing the truth. So we have the devil here. So this is Capricorn energy. Let's see what else we have here. We also have the three of wands here. So yeah, devil, this is also not always a bad thing. This is a ruler of material possessions. Someone who's meant to receive the materials that they dream about. So if something excites you, it is a clue. It's, it's like, yes, this is yours. This is meant for you. But the good news is, is that there's enough to go around Let's remove scarcity and lack mindset. This is what you're releasing. There's enough to go around. The proof is anytime you go shopping online and you keep scrolling, right? Just like when you're looking to choose a deck, it's no different. This is all preparation, you guys, for the real world. I have been teaching earth school for four years and I didn't realize it. Card three, you're graduating. You're graduating in the spiritual realm. You know too much. Now it's, now it's about having fun. Now it's about if you want to teach, you can teach. You know enough right now to bring enough value to people. You should never, ever, 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 ever be going without, ever. You should never be in lack, card three. You have too much to offer. Just because you don't know, think you know enough, or you're not an expert, or you need to do this, or have this, or have that, all of that is false. You don't need anything to be you. You already have obtained so much knowledge and wisdom already. Your crown chakra is full, is what I'm hearing, which means it's time to go release it, express it, share your light into the world. Fly to level11.com because we're gonna be meeting there every month. If you guys wanna join or be a part of the angel access, you guys can also be a part of that. So check that out. This is where you're heading. So this is where you're heading. It's way above tarot. Now you've been soaking in so much, waiting with the three of wands, just waiting and you're getting ready to sprout. It is time. It is time for you to receive, but you must make room, make room, make space. We can't even talk about a lover right now because we gotta make space and room for you, okay? So I'm definitely seeing you're meant for material possession or to obtain whatever it is that you desire. So when you're scrolling online, once again, and you keep passing all those shirts, those are someone else's deepest desires. Those are someone's, ooh, I'm putting that on my vision board, but you just scrolled past it. That's because it's not yours. So when you're looking, it's the same thing in life and reality. When you're shifting through reality, once again, when you're looking through different realities, the only way you could be doing that is if you're in your imagination. If you're a daydreamer, if you dream, if you live in the fantasy world, if you're a creator, this is why your creations come to life. Let's talk about it. 
Some of you might start a podcast, might connect with other people you or, or influential people, but maybe you're in behind the scenes. Either way, your light is needed in this time. Okay, you scrolled past all of those desires, but the only way you can see all realities and all possibilities is when you close these two eyes and you go within, just like that place where you go when you imagine, where do you wanna explore next, card three? And some place comes to you and you've never been there physically, but somehow in your imagination, you're there. That's because you are accessing. I am here to let the people know you have gifts, use them, child of light. Use them. You should never be broke. Your light has no price. These revelations you guys get from these videos are things you'll remember for the rest of your life. Revelations, much more richer than any possession. It's a life-changing experience that literally sets you on a different course. It's like, whoa, I feel like my spirit just took a turn. Not in the physical, and then all of a sudden your physical starts to align with that. Because physical, to be in the physical, to become materialized takes time, which for us as humans sucks, which is why spirit says connect in your imagination now with it. Feel it now. This is the only way it can eventually come to life is through this space. So you're meant to have a lot of material possessions. You're meant to receive a lot of them. And how do you know what? You will see them, okay? Queen of Cups. So yeah, out of everyone, you are the most aligned when it comes to being and knowing what it is that you really desire. And here's the thing, you're always gonna desire more. So yeah, card three, I'm really feeling like there's more relaxation. And here's also the thing, is that we desire all of these things and we're like vacation, but what we're really desiring is relaxation. Because if you're on vacation and you're still stressed, it literally defeats the purpose, okay? So can you get comfortable with receiving more relaxation and not having to stress and worry so you can stop sending the wrong signals to the universe because these signals in your vibrations are saying no? Can you just be open to receiving a bit more? We have strength at the bottom, Leo on the, on the bottom. Okay, Queen of Cups, so you're getting ready to travel, but the reason why there could be a hold on that is because you haven't imagined. You haven't imagined it, and most people don't even look. Most people don't even look at multi-million dollar homes because they don't believe they'll ever have it. They don't even look. But if they knew that if they just looked and connected, right? Not want, not want, that's different. Desire is like, whoa, I can see myself living here. I can see myself driving that. I can see myself being in love here. I can see myself being proposed to, whatever your desire is. That's how you know, yeah, that's for you. I'm telling you, this is, I'm, I'm flying beyond tarot. I'm excited to activate you guys so you can do this and you can continue to spread this light into the world. It is my deepest desire to activate you guys, which I already have and now to go use your gifts out into the world, okay? Because it is so easy. We have listened deeply, all right? So yeah, you are ready. You are certainly ready for the next level is what I'm getting, and it's because you've been open to communication from various places. Even myself, I don't care if you're in fourth grade, I don't care if you are not an expert or if you don't have a lot of money. I don't care what your race is, your orientation is. I don't care about any of those details. If you're communicating and I feel it in my spirit and I know it's coming from the universe, I am listening. And that's why I'm able to fly at such high levels of freedom, of bliss, because I'm always open to the universe communicating. So there's always some significant message and it's like magic and you wanna share it, you wanna talk about these moments because it's like you have to be there to experience it. You'll talk about something, think about it, and then the universe will show up. These are exciting moments of realizations, revelations, pricelessness. It's priceless, okay? There's no such thing as no in this world. Everything is yes. 
everything is yes until we say no. And we don't realize in our spirit we're saying no to some things that we think we're not ready for or we think we can't have. That's the biggest one. We think we can't have or we think we have to do X, Y, and Z to get it. You don't have to do any of that to get it, okay? And this is why it's important for you to understand. We have vulnerability and freedom, signs and reminders, okay? So spirit is giving you signs and reminders from a place of compassion to help you realize that you are free. You guys could be an artist. You could be a musician. You could be a creator. It doesn't matter what it is. Whatever you're excited to do is what you're meant to do. If you love to write, if you love to read, you have to connect with your desires more. Now, I know I've been saying this for years, but now that I'm on this journey as well in my personal life and sharing it more with you guys, because I'm realizing living my life is more inspiring to be the example of the universe continuously blessing me, continuously speaking through me and bringing these revelations that this is more inspiring than me saying, all right, guys, here's the three top ways to be spiritual, okay? And posting videos and content. We can talk, 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 but being the example of it is what's going to inspire. I'm hearing for you too, people around you. It's just do it, just live it. Don't tell this, these people and this and that they should be doing this and that should be doing it and telling these people. Some people are not ready to receive freedom. That's really what it comes down to. Some people don't feel worthy of freedom. This is the only reason why they don't have it. You have to feel worthy. Feeling worthy means what? Feeling good. You have to feel good about what you're asking for. We're asking for vacations, but we're not feeling good about relaxation. Makes no sense to the universe. Remember, like I said in card one, the universe does not have a mouth, does not speak a language outside of vibration and frequency, right? And how do I know this? Because I wanted to know because nobody knew. Nobody knew. And I was like, why am I here? I know there's something more. I know there's something. So we have changed in the night 11, you have changed quickly. So you have went through a quantum leap. You have chosen a version of you and now you are shifting into this version. This version of you is relaxing more. We're getting plenty of clues here. This version of you is a star, is the queen of fire. So we have the queen of fire for pretty much almost every card. All right, we have the ace of earth in reverse, the inflow of abundance, a promising new business venture, important documents. Okay, so we also have that in card two. So an opportunity that's coming in. We have a relationship we're releasing, letting go of, whether it's a situationship, whether it's a confusion ship, maybe that should be the next term. Because if it's confusing, that's our answer. You know what I mean? And I'm saying our because us as humans and as angels who just wanna love, <laughs> like, we just want to love you, right? Oh, my gosh. You guys could definitely be artists, poets, singers. Like, express this through your art. This is what is making it come to life. Creator, you writing that book, write the book you wish to experience. Write the song you wish to live. Write the script you want to live. Write, act in the script you want to live. Don't play roles that are not aligned with you because that's what's gonna manifest, right? We know this. Do what you love, night of water, romantic, falling in love, okay? You guys are meant to be in love. So if a person is not mirroring you at this time, because once again, card three, you changed so rapidly in the spiritual world. Like I said, you graduated in the spiritual world and you can't just date people who are barely getting into the spiritual school. You know what I mean? Like they're freshmen, they're getting in, you see the little light in them and you're like, oh my gosh, they're gonna blossom. And I really feel like this is always gonna be something until you open yourself up to receive the version of you that you're becoming in another person, okay? And that would be a twin flame, okay? I'm gonna speak a lot on that this year. I'm excited about that, very excited about that, okay? Your twin flame is going to mirror the most authentic, loving, unconditional, loving, inspired, all you can be version of you. This is why they're seen as power couples. They're meant to inspire the world, but you both individually are, are meant to be flames on your own. And then it becomes a duplicate. 
But right now, until then, you will attract, we will attract soulmates that mirror versions of us that are not whole. The only verse, and again, when I say whole, we're always evolving. So if you're with someone, unless they're always evolving, this is you in the spiritual room, leap, 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 leap. And then everyone around you is like, oh my gosh, like you're not even the same person. Like you don't, and you're expecting them to keep up. You don't realize how, how fast you're moving. That's another thing. You don't realize how fast you're moving. Okay. And it's, and it's due to your vulnerability. And it, once it's like, once you get a taste of truth and you know the truth, you're only going to want to dive deeper. And for you, card three, I feel you have already experienced so much of this. And like myself, once you experience it, you just want to experience it more. You want to experience more bliss and see what you're more capable of doing, what else you have in the toolbox. And so your twin flame is going to mirror the version of you that is also graduating, meaning they would be graduating. That's the truth. They would mirror your version of you that's the most exciting, meaning they would be living their dream. They would already be financially free. So this person belongs to a certain version of us. And it's the version that answers the call of being chosen, which is why twin flames are for the chosen few. There's only like maybe a handful, but everyone thinks they have one. You might not want one. You might not want to dig deep and become enlightened and awake and to your light, your flame. Some people don't. So if you're not awake to your flame, chances of you having a twin flame is probably pretty rare. Okay. It's a soulmate and that's okay. What does that mean? That means they're mirroring the version of you. They're mirroring you, whatever version you're being. Okay. Whether it's a version of you that you're coming out of or coming into, that's what a soulmate is. Okay. So that's why we say high level soulmate. We are, we're always trying to organize and rank things in the spiritual. There is no ranking, which is why manifesting a private jet is no different than buying a $5 scarf at the mall. It's no different. We're the ones that make it the vibration so large by, Oh my gosh, it's this. And what that does is it changes our vibration. So you have a following in love situation. You have a specific person you're going to be manifesting. And here's the thing, even if you're with someone, if they choose not to evolve with you, you will have to make a decision to either devolve and stay at their level and pace and compromise yourself, your desires, or they will have to evolve with you, which is why it is challenging to be with a soulmate because they would have to constantly be leaping with us. And the only person that's constantly leaping exactly as you mirroring you would be a twin. That's the difference. Okay. So spiritual leaders go spread it to the world that that's what a twin flame is because I am so not having fun listening to what a twin flame is. Your twin flame would not run. What would I be running from? Okay. So once again, they would be mirroring you completely. And the reason for a twin flame would be to inspire others into true love. Therefore, most twin flames will be people who are, I only say well known because their work, their creations. It's like, you can't be great and not be recognized card three. So get over that. You can't be great and nobody see you. Okay. You're gonna, people are going to see you. They're going to see your greatness. Let it go. Get over it. Get over it is what I'm hearing. All right. They're going to see your light. They're going to see your greatness. There's nothing you can do about that. And what comes with that is a lot of eyes. People want to see what's great. Okay. So just open your heart to that and understand that as well, because I'm definitely feeling like that is something too. Your creations are what's bringing hope to people. So if you're writing a novel, a fantasy novel, fantasy, what is that even? And it's about you falling in love and it's a beautiful story. Don't you realize people reading that, what they're feeling? You're making it happen for them. You're, you're, you're helping them touch that energy through your creations. Anything else for card three? 10 of cups. It's happening. It's time. There's nothing to do but to have fun and live your dream and you doing this, like I was saying, being the example is enough to help and inspire others. It is not your job to save others, right? Living in freedom versus freeing people. There's two different feelings. Feel the difference. I'm going to live and be free. 
I'm going to free people. That sounds like a lot of work, freeing people. And that's because it's not your job. All right. What feels like a lot of work is not your job. It's not your job to make it happen. It's not our job to make anything happen. That is the truth. It's not our job to make it happen. It's already happened. We just have to ex receive it and allow it to come. And where, where am I at right now, Car 3? I am living in the future. You're right. I am in the future because you're like, it's already happened. That's where you should be as well. Just release it. So spirit wants you to just release it. You have a contented and awarding family life. Your emotional material needs. There you go with that material needs are being met trustworthy relationships. So two things, material possessions are your, that's what you're preparing to receive. So you might let go of some material possessions, but the biggest thing is you might experience a career shift because your desires are big, too big for the door that you're hoping that to receive from. Okay. Your career path is going to be aligned with your desires. You can look at your desires and see which career is meant for you because it would align with your desire. So your desires and dreams should be your ultimate destination. Where do you wish to go? What do you wish to experience? Spirit is saying, create the life you wish to imagine, to wish to experience through your imagination, which is basically what we've been talking about, right? Okay. And you keeping a good vibration, okay? So here's the thing. What if you are looking to manifest something and you're, you're starting out to feel too good about it because I'm seeing unlikely. And so what's happening is you're putting in your delivery. What we do is we connect with our desires. We feel something light up in ourselves whether it's a material possession, a person, a place we want to work, it's because we see ourselves there. We start to envision and imagine it. And that is your confirmation. First of all, this is very, very, this, these are big revelations. Okay. Big revelations. And once you know that you will know, where are you going? What is this all for? And you're here to obtain and receive your desires and to live your dream life. That's ever evolving and expanding. It's not just one, it's ever evolving and expanding. And you can go as far as you want, as wide as you want. And that is the truth. Nothing is impossible. And so in order for you to access this space, spirit is saying, create it through your imagination. All right. This is where you take action. People think it's in the 3d world. That's the very last step. Remember, if you're doing anything in the 3D, it's only solely for pleasure. Even you creating, you bringing it to life because it's already created, right? In your imagination, you're just bringing it here, okay? And taking action is connecting, connecting with your desires. So let's see if there's anything else. All right, let's hear from the fairies. Okay, we have friendship coming in. So yeah, also same thing with the twin flame. So that's where your tribe is. So you'll start to attract your tribe as well, who is mirroring the same energy as you. So people are mirrors are you, but what version are they mirroring? And most of the time, soulmates are mirroring older versions of us because we're constantly leaping so quickly. And the only one who can keep up with us is the twin flame because they're leaping too. That's what I'm saying. Like it's a trans, you're a transformative shape shifter, meaning you've been multiple people in this life. You've been this person, then you've been this employee, then you've done this, then you played the role of this. Some of you've been a role of a parent. Like you've played many roles, but this next role is your most authentic you doing what's most exciting, being true to you. If you had it your way, what would your life look like? It's in your hands, the wand, the paintbrush and you're painting with your imagination. And it's coming to life by simply receiving it. But in order to receive it, you must be in a place of silence and solitude. Embrace your powers, there you go. Because I don't talk like this normally unless I'm like teaching. All right, so I'm getting a lot of, a lot, a lot of information from your gifts. You have the ability to see your current situation with the crystal clear clarity. And this is what I've been saying a lot lately. What is the point of having these gifts and not using them, angels. So we are a light tribe and we are earth angels. We've come to earth to share our light, to connect with our light, and that is the truth. That is why you're here. And it took me years to even align to be brave enough 
to even say such a highlighting a luminous thing but it is the truth and it is time for you to embrace your purity and you will also manifest your truest tribe. So I'm sending you so much love and light. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video. Also follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok. I'm really preferring to go live on TikTok. It's a lot easier than YouTube. It's a lot more accessible. So definitely follow those links down below. In the meantime, I'm out. See you guys. Love and light.